I'm sitting here talking about fucking elephant-sized condoms and having my girlfriend get banged while I'm off at work. Paying bills and shit. I gotta fucking make my way to the stupid freaking, um, round table is what I'm trying to do. Hell yeah, we can level up again. I'm just going straight vigor, I don't care. I'm just gonna go straight vigor, and then I'm gonna get the runes to level up my weapon, and we're gonna go club Morgoth in the fucking head. Or Margit, or whatever. But we can't go to the fucking round table. What do you have to do to- like, literally, I just played through the game, so I don't mind looking this up. What are the requirements for a round table? After receiving an invitation from Melina, this can be achieved either by resting at a site of grace in Liurnia of the Lakes or Kaelid, or by defeating Margit the Fell Omen before resting at any site of grace. Huh, okay. Alright, so we have two options. We could bypass Margit and not fight him, and get to Liurnia of the Lakes so we can go upgrade our weapon. But if they're telling us that we need to beat Margit to be able to get access to upgrading our weapon, it only seems logical that they expect us to fight Margit first, and then that's our reward for beating him, is being able to upgrade our weapon. So I don't want to bypass him if it means that like I just get to go upgrade my weapon and steamroll the shit out of the boss fight. So tell you what, let me get my Vigor stat up to level 30, and then we'll go fight Margit. It's going to require a little bit more grinding, but like the beginning of Elden Ring is very, very grindy. And I was saying that when I was playing through the game on my other character that literally I had to spend a ludicrous amount of time just grinding enemies, and it kind of sucked. And I'm assuming that's what they give you the, uh, like, see that bullshit right there is not fair. That's bullshit game design. The dude hit me and I was staggered and I could not respond. Even though I knew the dude was running up on me, and I had three whole seconds to respond to him, I just can't. That's artificial difficulty. That's bad. Take that out of your fucking video game. It does not need to be there. It's fucking shit. Okay, my boys are down, so I gotta be a little bit more careful here. I can't be as aggressive as I was being before. I gotta be a little bit strategic with the way I wanna go about this. Cool, bait him into a swing, perfect. Where's the big man? Okay, there's the big man. Okay, that's not the big man, that's the big man. Okay. You've seen one great shield, you've seen them all. Okay, I'm gonna pick this dude off next, because I know he's gonna aggro me in the back. That was very, very lucky. I don't deserve to get away with that because I panicked. I did something stupid. He should have poked me there. Just like he should have poked me there. Okay, he retaliates like that every time. I can use that. See, that's bullshit. Like, that's poor enemy spacing. That's actually nonsensical. Fuck you, dude. Like, I should have been able to hit him there. There's absolutely no reason that I should have whiffed with that kind of relation. Get out of here, you Harry Potter knight-dressed motherfucker. Okay, thin beast bones? Alright. I know there's a crypt around here somewhere that has some sort of item in it. Either that or it's a teleportation chest. But if we end up in Kaled, we're gonna be in for a rough ride. Kaled early game is no fucking joke. Like, Kaled is actually ridiculously stupid. Oh, okay. I should wore Storm Stomp, okay. And we got a Whetstone Knife, but I don't know what the Whetstone Knife allows you to do. I think it allows you to put certain arts on weapons. But I could be wrong. I think that's one of the items that I didn't read the description of, so I don't know exactly what its use is. So how much does it take for us to level? A little bit more than we have.
See, that's what I like. That feels like DS1, where the enemies are so fucking childishly designed that you can just wait for them to do a thrusting attack and just run all the way around them clockwise and just stab them in the back for free. Like, even the knights of Anorlando, you remember how fucking doofy and stupid the fucking Monty Python Anorlando knights are? Where literally they just fucking run at you and you can just fucking circle strafe everything they do and they literally can't do shit? And then they had the Anorlando knights in DS3 that literally shoot you with fucking great bows and nonsense like that. And like fucking conjure lightning from their swords. Okay, use a simple outspacing maneuver for that. I ran out of stamina, so I wasn't able to hit him a fourth time. Okay, I was kind of hoping that would just wipe him out, but... Okay, so... I really want to go do a cave in, like, an optional boss or two, because that'll get me a lot of runes really fast, but the problem is, is I can't remember where any of the caves are. And that's the problem playing Elden Ring again for, like, the first time, because every playthrough feels, like, brand new. Is I don't know where the hell the caves are. I actually, I do know one thing we can go do that'll actually net me a pretty decent amount of runes, so let's go do it. We're gonna go past Agil. We're not gonna fight Agil yet, but we're gonna go summon the invader that spawns close to where Agil does. Also, let me see if I can buy some smithing stones from this dude. He does not have any smithing stones, that's very unfortunate. Also, that and the Reduvia will really come in handy for a bleed weapon this early on in the game. That being said, though, the daggers are not very good at breaking posture, obviously, because they're daggers. But maybe I can just shoot blood waves at Margit and bleed him to death. That's very possible. Okay, that's the Dragon Communion Church, so this is not where I thought it was. So we must be on the other side of the Limgrave place. Yeah, Agil Lake. Alright, this is where I want to go. I get so lost and turned around in this fucking game. Alrighty then. Let's go down here, let's summon the big flappy boy. If he happens to show his ugly mug. And then we'll run past him, we'll summon the invader and we'll talk to the finger dude. Because I need to do this dude's side quest anyway to get access to a certain thing that I need. I actually don't know if I can drop that. So let's be a little bit more smart here. There we go. That actually looked like just a tad too high. I'm pretty sure that would have killed Torrent, honestly. This game has some really stupid, dumbass, arbitrarily calculated values for certain things. And I'd rather not push them if I can help it. We got a cave, that's cool. I really hope this is anything besides the Stone Digger Troll. If this is anything besides the Stone Digger Troll, I'll be fine. But if it's the Stone Digger Troll, I'm gonna be in trouble. Oh, there was another mmm. I did not know there was another mmm. But I now know that there was another mmm. But that's okay, we can backtrack. We can double back a little bit. Oh, man, that was so close. I fucking landed on that ledge with my big toe, dude. That was sketch as fuck. I didn't even get the sight of Grace. What a dumbass. I just ran in here thinking it was my other character, like I already had this unlocked or something. Fucking big doof. Oh, yeah, lack of armor is probably why I'm taking so much damage, huh? D dude, that actually looks pretty... S that actually looks pretty suave, I'm not gonna hold you. That actually looks pretty sick. I actually kinda like that. Oh, am I dumb? Oh, dude, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> My bad. I thought the cave started down there, I thought we were going up. Oh, this is something. Mm, this is the one I already got. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's try jumping this. Yeah, jumping this is the way they intend for you to do it. Rolling it was kind of sketch. Jumping it was definitely the better call. Alright, let's see what awaits us in here. Probably just gonna be a whole bunch of stupid mining dudes, yep, with pickaxes. Losers. All of you suck. They're just hardworking dudes trying to work a living, working in the fucking Miyazaki sweatshops. 
It's like Temple of Doom in Indiana Jones, where there's all the fucking stupid little impoverished kids in rags. And everyone's coming in here giving them a hard time. Oh yeah, dude. Club don't fuck around. Club's gonna fucking destroy these dudes. I'm getting fucked on a smithing stone from here, too. That's gonna come in handy. No, not the Miyazaki classic. Anything but that. Where's Gaben when you need him? Oh my god, I hate this fucking game. Little bastards. Diseased pieces of shit. I was gonna say, let me guess, there's a big rat around the corner to punish me for calling them diseased, isn't there? Streets of New York City down here. It's like I'm running through a fucking New Yorkian pizzeria. Alright, so the only thing I'm worried about when we get to the boss is I literally only have like three or four Estus drinks. That's a little bit mildly concerning because I'm probably not going to have the health values to be able to put him down. Whatever it is. I'm also going to be really fucked if it's a falling star. If it's a falling star, I'm going to be in fucking super big trouble. Let me guess, there's two dogs? Okay, no, there's only one dog, alright. When is there only ever one dog? Oh shit. Nope. Fucking from software, you fucking bitch. Stupid annoying piece of crap. Oh man, that has mega armor to it. Okay. I can't just knock him out of that. That was close. Not at the hands of a dog, goddammit. Anything but a fucking dog. Okay, that's not a hidden wall. Ah. Delicious. Okay, I'll take that. Free smithing stone. I mean, it's not really free. Now I have to go get a rabies shot because Miyazaki can't fucking dog whisper his dogs. Okay, I was gonna use glintstone on the fucking dude if it was one of those big fucking storm digger trolls or whatever because I know if you hit them in the head, they kind of fall over a lot. So I was gonna use one of those, but like, I don't really know where to go in this cavern now is the problem. I don't know how to progress through it. There's nothing under the elevator, so it's not a double, and there's nothing underneath. Except an abyssal chasm of death. There's nowhere to go here. I already tried hitting the wall, so, like, it's obviously not this way. So this must be a, just a dead end, and I have to double back and go to another section of the cave or something. That's cool, though. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of work this character, like, off-stream. Just, like, as I progress through the game. But if I plan to do any of the big Giga bosses or whatever, like, if I'm just running around, like, killing shit or whatever, then, yeah, it's fine. But, like, I think I'm going to do all the Remembrance bosses on-stream. And probably all the major bosses as well. But this is not going to be like a fully fleshed out playthrough where I literally do all the crazy optional shit and I literally go through every cavern and I fight every boss and I do every catacomb and like the fucking ninth reused cat boss or whatever, like it's not going to be like the last one was. Because I can't be arsed to do all that shit again. Like I literally just did it, it's going to be uploaded to YouTube, you can watch it and then you can watch this if you want to, but they're both going to be there. So I don't really see much point in doing the same shit that I already did. There's a big crab under that. Also, I don't know where the dragon is. And I don't know what makes it come down, either. So I think I'm gonna stay on the outskirts of the lake, because I know I'm not equipped to deal with the dragon yet. There's no fucking way that I'm supposed to deal with the dragon at this point. Oh, well, this is actually a really fitting song for horseback riding. And it's also really cool because I'm wielding a barbarian club. And I look like a nomadic warrior. It's pretty sick. Probably the only good song to come out of the Blaze Bailey era of Iron Maiden. Because so everything else they produced in this area was fucking complete garbage. I should probably think about healing up. 
Just in case I end up getting walled or cornered by some sort of stupid bullshit. Did that turtle have glowing eyes? Okay, that was actually kind of sketch for a minute. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything else that I can obtain while I'm here in these ruins. Yeah. Alright. This seems promising. Dragon burnt ruins. Jeez, I can't imagine why. Because fucking Aguil is torturing the nearby farmers that are trying to grow carrots for the fucking long winter to come. Evil bastard. I'll take... What is my... I got a twin blade. Alright, so what can we do? Let's see, we have the Knight's Calvary that I could go fight. That's up patrolling the bridge. I don't know if I have the damage output for him yet, but I could at least try, I suppose. I know there's more giant crabs than that. You're not baiting me with shiny fucking treats, Miyazaki. I'm not that gullible. Watch there be a giant dragon that sweeps down and breathes fire on me for picking up that sliver of meat, and they're like, oh yeah, really, bitch? You think you know us, huh? Okay. Let's go fight the knight's fucking cavalry so I can quit running around fighting scrubs. Let's go do something somewhat interesting. Because admittedly, I'm getting a little bit bored just running around. I would rather die five times trying to beat the Knights Calvary and do something interesting than run around here and fight the same scrubs ten million times. And I think that's why Elden Ring kind of kicks off so slow. And it's honestly kind of a disappointment that it does, because honestly, like, I wish there was some other boss that you had to fight that was just, like, a little bit better. See, that was actually sketched. Like, the game would not allow me to input right there. I did a sw side swivel to avoid the arrow. And then the raider dude, like, ran up at me or whatever, and I literally, like, tried to input the roll because I saw him run up, and it just wouldn't take it in time. Okay, I shouldn't have rolled that early. I didn't expect it to track that well. Okay. Uh, oh, come on, really? Dude, double really? Triple really? Come on, man. Come on, game. Don't be like that. Really? Come on, dude. What are you, a bellhop? This is one of those points in times where desperate men do unwise things. I should have just fucking went with my initial plan and just killed this dude first. I should have literally just bum rushed this asshole and took him out first thing. Fucking asshole. Prepare yourself, commoner. Judgment comes in the form of a fucking stout wood club. Brazenly bashed upon your fucking skull. Where's that fucking sorcerer dude? Why is he still alive and why are the imps not killing him? Where is he? Did he actually run back up to his original position? What a stupid fucking game. How did he even get back up there? What the fuck? Oh, he probably ran around this long side. No, how did he get the fuck back up here? I have a horse. That's the only way I'm able to get up here. How did he do it? Where is he, by the way? Ao? Like, you're telling me he can sit there and pelt me in the back with fucking spells, but, like, now when I go to kill him where he was shooting the spells from, he's not there. Go back to my other character? Why? Aren't you having fun? Isn't this what you wanted? See, now he's there again. What the fuck? What is happening? Oh, there he is. Oh, you sneaky little bastard! Using his fucking chameleon-like reflex, fucking survival instinct for that man. I respect it. He's on that Sigma grind, he knows what he's doing. Cause DLC, I'll do the DLC in due time, keep your fucking pants on. 
It's my game, I'll do DLC when I want to. I know DLC is going to be more interesting to watch than this, that's for damn sure, I know that. Fuck that, do that on your own time? Then, like, wh why are you here? If you don't want to watch Elden Ring the way I want to fucking approach and play the game, then why are you here? Like, are you here just to bitch about the fact that I'm not doing the DLC? Like, it, it, do you really think that bitching about me not doing the DLC is gonna fucking influence me to do the DLC? I'll do the DLC when I fucking want to. I paid the money for it. I paid the money for the fucking game. I already have a level character? Yeah, but isn't it over-leveled, though? Isn't it over-leveled? Aren't I egregiously overpowered? Even though I'm not? I'm giving you guys what you wanted. So you don't get to complain now. <laughs> You're funny. I know about the Shadow Tree Blessings, it doesn't matter what level you go into the DLC at, because the Shadow Tree Blessings fucking dictate the balancing. I know about that because people on the internet wouldn't fucking shut up about it. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I'm still gonna die regardless because it's new, I'm hoping I do die a fucking ton. I'm hoping the DLC is a really fun time. Thing is, I'm more willing to die in the DLC to shit that I've never seen before that I have no idea how to deal with or navigate than deal with the shit that I do know how to fucking deal with and navigate. You know what I mean? Okay, so I need to get my ass to a side of grace before I get poisoned to death. But yeah, like, don't get me wrong, I know about the DLC. All the balancing comes in the form of the Shadow Tree or the Scatter Tree Fragments or whatever the fuck it is or whatever. But I'm infinitely more willing to be dying to new shit rather than being fucking... You know, like, cucked out for saying, oh, you're massively overleveled on a character that I literally just fucking went across the board with. Like, it doesn't matter what character level you are outside of the two fucking basic stats that dictate the combat of the game. You need one primary damage stat, you need health, and you need endurance so you can roll attacks. Nothing else fucking matters. Everything else is a dump stat. Like, even, like, okay, if I were to make a faith-supported character, but I only had, like, 15 investment for faith just to be able to use the spells, that's ideal. That's what you want. That's why they have the spells usable at a certain fucking degree of investment. Does that make sense? So, like, literally character level beyond that doesn't really dictate anything. It dictates how powerful those spells are, yes, but if you're not using them for damage potential, then it doesn't matter what your level investment is beyond of what you need to be able to use a particular spell. But I don't know, like, people want to meme and shitpost on me and say that I needed to be overleveled to beat the game, even though I've beaten literally every Souls game to hell and back. Hell, I fucking ran BL4 on Bloodborne and I died, what, six times? Some to gravity and some to input memes and some to fucking menus randomly opening and getting emotes mid-combat. But not like people are under the impression that I suck at these games just because I bitch about one boss fight. I don't know, what are you gonna do? I'm, I'm now beginning to understand, like, the irony of Darkseid Phil and his entire existence. And how life kind of just crumbles and unravels around and, like, the fabric of reality is completely undone. It's just so fucking funny to me. Long ass elevator. I was able to go on a long winded rant about Dark Side Phil in the time that it took this elevator to complete. <laughs> Holy fuck, From Software. That's what I like, you know what? You know what? While we're on the subject of fucking From Software, that's what I appreciate about Neo. <laughs> Their level design? Oh, you want to get back to the boss? Cool, all you had to do was unbar this door. It took like three seconds for an animation. It doesn't go... And you gotta sit there and wait for like three fucking sequels for the fucking door to open. You don't have to sit there and wait an entire fucking development cycle for the span of like six years for Miyazaki to come out with a new game in the span that it takes to open a heavy door. 
It's literally just, oh, unbarricade this thing, unbar this door, knock this thing over. Thanks, Neo. That being said, I do like when FromSoft designs really crazy hard bosses behind really big weighty doors. I love that. There's so much to that. Like, I love opening a heavy door and then being met with a completely ridiculous fucking asshole like douchebag on the other side that's gonna fucking destroy me. For like the next hour. I think there's only ever honestly been like one time I was ever stuck on a boss for like a long time. My first ever playthrough of Neo, I was on Okatsu for fucking ever. I was on Okatsu for like, what, three hours because I was doing no stance swap, no key pulsing, no uh, guardian spirit. I was like literally using no everything. I basically was playing Neo without playing Neo. And it was awesome. Alright, so we have one of the sconces lit. We have to go past the big crab. I'm not really excited about that, but we have to do it regardless. Sometimes you're given circumstances in life where you have to do things you just don't want to do. When does the enemy get an opening to be hit, dude? Because, like, I know I can't just go ham on these guys, because if you go ham on these guys, they have hyper armor on, like, fucking everything. Stand switch to that other character and do the DLC. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one, I'll give you that. Okay, that guy, when he spawns, is programmed to do that move. I don't believe that was just an RNG factor that he decided to do that based on proximity. I think he's designed to do that when he spawns in. I gotta keep an eye out for those fucking stupid blue lightning balls of death, because those things are evil as shit. Early game. This is where the big flower is, yeah. You don't want to go fucking with the big flowers this early. They're kind of deadly. I'll be taking that. Thanks, sir. Can I have that too? Hell yeah. I'll take as many of those fuckers as I can get. Okay, I know there's just a merchant up there, so I'm not really worried about the merchant at this point. I'll come back for him. Okay, I should be able to get this with very minimal issues. Okay, I gotta keep an eye out for the archers here. The archers are the things that kind of scare me a little bit. So I should probably preemptively get my Estus out. So in case I get shot a couple times, I can heal really fast without having to item cycle. That's also one of the downsides to Elden Ring as opposed to Neo. Neo has a quick heal that you can register. And from software, it literally likes to make you cycle through a fucking pouch of like 10 items to be able to heal yourself. And it's really bad when you need a clutch heal. Especially in Elden Ring, where the enemies are just insanely aggressive and, like, really hyper-overtuned. Okay, so I know I'm going to want to get this charm up here later, but this goes to Kaelid. But this only goes to one very precise, very hyper-specific area of Kaelid that doesn't really allow you to get anywhere. But I thought I had a Storm Sword key. Oh, I need two of them, because there's two Goyles, huh? Okay. Damn, okay, we can't do this yet, but that's alright. That's fine. 
I don't really mind that we can't do this yet. That's not really a big deal. I think there's still a golden seed that we can obtain down here, so let's try and get that. I also think there's a sight of grace up here, just in case I happen to get mocked by some stupid evil spirit moose men. While I'm over here. How long have I been up? Two hours? Okay. So I'm thinking I'll do what I did last time. I'm thinking I'll end the first stream when we hit Margit, so I'll beat Margit and then end stream after that. And then next stream will obviously be Stormvale Castle and all the accompanying areas around there. And then after that will be Lyurnia and Renala and all that fun shit. And the Academy of Rai Lucaria. These archers don't fuck around. Like, these archers are fucking ludicrous. I actually kind of like it, though. It's really fashionable to have an arrow sticking out of my back like that. It's cool. I can get a job as one of those people that directs planes with the stupid light wands. I'm gonna need torrent for this, aren't I? I don't even know what this item is. I could very well be risking my life falling into an abyssal void pit of fucking water and nothingness. Just trying to get this item. Watch the archer fucking blat me from, like, literally all the way over there and just send me shooting off the cliff. That'd be fucking hilariously funny. Are you telling me I have to go all the way around this thing to be able to pick up this fucking item? Oh, hell yeah, it's a stone sword key. Fuck yeah. Alright, we're in it, boys. We can go right back up the lift past the deadly archer that just shot me in the spine from, like, 300 meters. Okay. That shit makes me so nervous, I'm not gonna lie. It gives me flashbacks of Anor fucking Londo, and I don't like it. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna call that a registered wall? Seriously? Like, that one little detail on the wall? Nuts. What am I playing after Elden Ring? I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't really put a lot of thought into it. I just, I knew Elden Ring would be a very big, daunting, fucking time-consuming project, so I didn't really think beyond the scope of Elden Ring. Maybe Lies of P. I might give Lies of P a go. I've heard very good things about it, and I finally bought it, and I've been dying to give it a shot. So maybe Lies of P after Elden Ring. Because usually what I do is I have one rock-solid hard game, whatever. Quote-unquote hard game. I usually have an adventure or a platformer. And I have an RPG, and I have a horror game. It's typically my kind of rotation that I do. And I will supplement certain things in particular uh, times for different things, depending on what I'm in the mood for. Okay. Let's do a stupid... Let's like this. I deserve that. What happened to my horse summon? Okay, the game just fucking ate my horse summon and didn't give me my horse? Okay. That's actually really funny, honestly. Like, that's actually fucking hysterically funny. Like, like this is the kind of bullshit in Elden Ring that I fucking despise. I hate this kind of shit. Just give me the fucking thing. And now it's gonna go over there where I can't hit it because I fucking took ten swings at it, but because the game doesn't have any tracking, I can't hit the thing. What the fuck do you want? I wanted Estus just in case I get blapped by these stupid fucking archers on the way back up. I was trying to be strategic, but the game doesn't allow me to do that, so what do you want? That's kinda doofy. You reminded me I have one horror game I need to finish that I bought. Don't be afraid. Demo is decent, so I got it. Nice. I hope you enjoy it, dude. I do love horror games from time to time, but horror is a very niche, precise genre. Because, like, things can be done very, very well, or they can be made by some fucking weird Swedish Czechoslovakian kid or whatever, and, like, the whole game was made and manufactured for, like, $5. You know what I mean? It could be either one of those hide and, you know... Like, keep yourself in a locker or make no noise, otherwise the scary dolly with the knife and blacked out eyes or whatever jumps out and screams in your face. And gives you an aneurysm. Or it can actually be like a very good, like, well, you know, based and structured, immersive, you know, kind of creepy horror experience. 
so. Then as soon as I got it, they announced Don't Be Afraid 2 coming. Oh, you know what? There actually is a way into Caleb, but I don't think you can survive it. Oh, I just triggered the fucking round table accidentally, didn't I? I did. Okay, well, that being said... Let's go level up our club and beat Uncle Margaret over the fucking head with it. I'm gonna have some water. It's fucking insanely hot in here, which is why I have the towel, obviously. I actually have the towel for when all the bodybuilders leave. That's actually what I have the towel for. They're just hiding off camera and you can't see them at the single. <laughs> Let's go to the round table hold. <laughs> see, I love the thing that should not be. It literally makes me want to have drums again. 